All right, y'all, so time I'm be trying some of the craziest death row inmates last meal request. Let's go. John Wayne Gacy was the spookiest clown ever who left this earth on May 10th, 1994. If you're the kind of person who's afraid of clowns, you may want to fast forward through okay. this part. Because prior to becoming caught, Gacy was known for performing at charity events under the names Pogo the Clown and Patches the Clown. This particular clown is known to have assaulted or ended the lives of young men who he lured into his home. Damn. He was finally arrested in December of 1978, and his punishment would be by lethal injection, which he was sentenced to in March of 1980. He would okay. live the rest of his life at Menard Correctional Center, where he is said to have spent a great deal of time painting. Gacy's last meal included 12 fried shrimp, an order of french fries, a pound of strawberries, and a bucket of chicken from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Original recipe. His last meal looked pretty good. I'm creeped out, but I want to eat what he had. Goodbye. Appreciate you, my boy. Oh. Let's see if this is last meal worthy. All right, y'all, so I got the chicken, I got the shrimp, shit, I even got the strawberries. But, bro, check this out, bro. While I was looking through my food, bro, I realized that something was missing. I didn't have no ketchup. Where's my ketchup? Damn, I ain't got nothing. I'm gonna have to eat this dry. Mmm. Very good. I haven't had some fried chicken in a minute. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, but that chicken was pretty good, bro. Usually, I ain't no big fan of fried chicken because I don't really like the crusty skin. But, hey, uh, this, bro, the skin wasn't that crusty. Damn, it's been so long since I, since I ate KFC. I low-key missed this. After I got done devouring that fried chicken, I decided to try the shrimp. All right. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, this ain't a bad-ass meal, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This thing hit. The chicken hit. The shrimp hit. Shit. Hey. My boy knew what he wanted. Mm. He even chose to be healthy by, by adding strawberries. On May 11th, 1982, Alan Lee Davis murdered Nancy Weller and her two daughters, including 10-year-old oh, wow. Christina Damn. and 5-year-old Catherine, who he shot Damn. as she was trying to escape him. Sentenced to die in the electric chair, Davis spent his last days on death row at Florida State Prison in Stark, Florida, and went on to meet his maker on July 8th, 1999. His execution was completely botched, and witnesses say he was still alive after the power was cut. Alan Damn. Lee Davis remains to this day the last person whose sentence was carried out by electric chair in the state of Florida. For his last meal, Davis went with a mostly seafood-themed meal that included lobster tail, a half pound of fried shrimp, and six ounces of fried clams. You know, for such terrible people, I don't know if they deserve good food like this, bruh. Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy, possibly the most infamous of criminals, confessed to 30 homicides committed between 1970 gosh. and 1978. His total victim count, however, is not known and is often believed to be much higher. Bundy, who's been played in the movies by the likes of Mark Harmon, Zac Efron, and Chad Michael Murray, would pretend to be injured or pose as an authority figure, like a police officer, before knocking his victims unconscious and then taking them to another location. Bundy was captured in 1975, but escaped twice before finally being put away for good in 1978. On February 10th, 1980, Bundy was sentenced to the electric chair, which was carried out on January 24th, 1989, at Florida State Prison in Bradford County, Florida. Bundy, probably having lost his appetite knowing what was in store for him, passed on the chance to have a special last meal. Instead, he received the standard fare, which included steak cooked medium Ooh. rare, eggs over easy, oh. hash browns, toast with butter and jelly. Hey, 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 that look good! Especially the steak, toast, eggs. Damn, I don't even know where to go to get it, but damn, I want that. So I went to IHOP to get it, and bro, look at this such plate. I got the toast, I got the steak, I even got the eggs. Now, let's feast. So, uh, I tried to cut the steak. It didn't go so well, so I just picked it up and just ate it with my hands. And, bro, when I tell you, bro, that steak was phenomenal. Mm. 
Alright, now let's try these eggs, bro. To be honest, bro, I didn't think that they was gonna be good because the yolk on top isn't cooked. But, bro, when I ate it, bro. Come on. I have the juiciness of it. Bro, those eggs were splendid. Every time I ate it, bro, the yolk just busted and squirted in my mouth. I love the way this egg just juices in my mouth. Bro, that meal was a 10 out of a 10, bro. If I was on death row, bro, give me that, bro. That meal was so good that I ate every single scrap of it. Timothy McVeigh carried out the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. His attack, which destroyed one third oh, wow. of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building, took the lives of 168 people Damn. and 700 others. Police caught McVeigh by tracing the vehicle identification number of a rear axle found in the wreckage of the bombing. The part belonged to a rider truck that had been rented in Junction City, Kansas. Employees there gave a description to an FBI Ew, sketch he's artist, ugly. and that sketch eventually identified McVeigh, who had been arrested on an unrelated gun possession charge in Perry, Oklahoma. McVeigh was convicted on June 2, 1997, and sentenced to meet his maker 11 days later. He would spend the majority of his remaining days on death row in Terre Haute, Indiana. His sentence was carried out on June 11, 2001. For his last meal, McVeigh kept it simple. All Some ice he cream asked for was two pints of mint and chocolate chip ice cream. You know what? For that shit that he did, bro, he he don't deserve that ice cream. <laughs> See, I deserve the ice cream. All right, y'all. So I got the ice cream. Um, let's see if this is last meal worthy. It tastes like my toothpaste, bro. This is horrible. Why would you do this as your last meal? At least get regular cookies and cream. On May 26, 1980, Stephen Wayne Anderson robbed the Bloomington, California house of a retired teacher, Elizabeth Lyman. When Lyman saw Anderson in her home, Ew. she screamed, prompting him to shoot her. Anderson, who was Damn. known to have admitted to taking the lives of at least eight other people, was convicted of the Lyman murder and sentenced on June 24, 1981. His sentence was carried out by lethal injection on January 29, 2002. When it came time for his last meal, Anderson requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mix, peach pie, chocolate chip ice cream, and radishes. That meal is fucking ass. Come on, bro. That's some stuff your grandma cooks. Like, what? Huh? Come on. Angel Diaz. On December 29th, 1979, the life of the manager of a Florida strip club called the Velvet Swing Lounge was taken when three men robbed the club. There were no eyewitnesses to the shooting, but four years later, Angel Nieves Diaz's girlfriend told police that he was involved. Despite some credibility issues. She a snitch! Nieves he would have got away with it! Dang, I bet she waited till after they broke up. Why am I rooting for him? He's a murderer. Convicted and sentenced to receive lethal injection. Nieves would maintain his innocence until his dying day, which incidentally turned out to be December 13th, 2006, when his sentence was carried out at Florida State Prison in Rayford. Like everyone else on death row, Nieves was offered his choice of last meal, but he declined it. He was then served the standard meal given to those who had no special requests. They gave him. He refused to eat that too. Damn. Victor <sighs> Harry Figuer was a drifter, and in the summer of 1960, he drifted into Dubuque, Iowa, where he rented himself a room at an old boarding house. Figuer went through the yellow pages, phoning doctors and telling them he was with a woman in need of medical care. Dr. Edward Bartles took the bait, and when he showed up, Figuer kidnapped him and stole his car. He was captured a few days later in Alabama, but by that point, he had killed Bartles. He was convicted in a federal court and sentenced. Despite a plea from the anti-death penalty governor of Iowa, President John F. Kennedy, who cited the brutality of the crime, refused to grant Fugere's request for clemency. Fugere spent his last days in the Damn, Iowa Damn, JFK wanted him day. His sentence was carried out on March 15, 1963. He would be the last person put to death in the state of Iowa. Fugere's last meal was about as simple as it gets. He had just one single olive with the pit still in it. Why an olive? 
out of everything. Why? Why? Let's let's see what the hype is about. I guess. All right, I got the single olive on my plate. Let's eat it. This man really chose to eat an olive. Could have had a five-star meal. And he chose to eat this. Okay. This belongs on a Subway sandwich. It don't belong in my mouth by itself. This is the worst meal that you could choose. It's not even a meal. It's not even a snack. Alright y'all, so that's the end of the video, bro. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Goodbye.